left untreated for over 12 hours in a hospital ER. How did Louise Tamondong's routine visit turn into a nightmare of neglect and frustration? From attentive day staff to being completely ignored overnight, her shocking story exposes the critical gaps in patient care that no one should ever face. Find out how it all unfolded. West Hills has been my hometown hospital for several years, and I've generally had no complaints until my most recent visit. I was admitted to their ER for severe nausea and dehydration. The day shift staff were super attentive and treated me very fast. Things went very downhill once the night shift took over. After my first IV drip, I was put into a back room with a reclining chair, not a bed. We were told to wait for a doctor to come check in on me and eventually discharge me. This was at 6.30 p.m., and this was the last time we had anyone check in on me. By about midnight, I was dehydrated again and had my mother, who was with me the whole time, check to see if I could get water or another IV. The overnight receptionist was very rude to my mother, told her that a doctor would be there to get me an IV, but no one came in to check. My mother checked with a different nurse two hours later, and he gave her the same answer and rude treatment. We were not noticed until the day shift came in and noticed that there were patients in our room and were shocked. The day shift was extremely attentive and apologetic and took care of me rapidly. The day shift nurse involved in the mix-up took full responsibility and apologized to my mother. However, I am extremely disappointed and angry at the overnight nurses who were rude to my mother and neglected to give me any treatment or even have the decency to check up on me at all. This is neglect and delay of care, and I could have been recovered 12 hours ago if either of those two nurses were kind, attentive enough to check in. While I understand that night shifts are usually understaffed, overworked, and underappreciated, this was neglectful to the point of compromising my health. I would like both those overnight nurses held accountable 